Hi, Scrubs. I hope you're well. Hello, you awesome people. Hello, Softman. And welcome to another episode of the Soul Riders podcast. We're back. It's February. Uh, well, actually, the end of February. Or it's maybe March. I don't know when this is coming out, but who cares? Uh, and we're back with another episode, as I said. But first, we want to thank you all for the response we got last time. It was very fun. And yeah, you heard me say this so many times now, so you're probably bored of this. We have a new topic today. Realism and fantasy. And this topic was actually uh, an idea from our today's guest. It is Collectible Alex. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Hi. We have had a lot of wishes that you are supposed to be in our podcast. So this was very, very nice of you to join us. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. So I'm ready. Yes. yes. Present yourself. Well, I'm Collector Alex. My name is Alexis Icelight in game. I've been playing for, I think, just over a year, a year and a couple months. A new and <laughs> Yes. And uh, yeah, you can find me on my Instagram, which is Collectible Alex, and my YouTube, which is the same thing. Yay! Yeah. So glad to have you here. Whee! Oh, and it has been February. It, it, see, it is, uh, in, in Sweden, it is called like the February, and that is because in February, all kids get sick, and all parents have to take care of their kids and so they get sick and it's just a month where everyone is sick and low and depressed <laughs> yep. so what have you all been up to in february <laughs> let me start with alex oh february uh oh well it started out really cold we had yeah. i think we had snow over here oh and now we're having heat waves so. <laughs> oh, us too actually so <laughs> love british weather so yeah <laughs> Um, but no, just been working on doing videos mm. and getting ready to go back to my work and, you know, just general day-to-day -day life adult things. Yeah. The much-needed yeah. adulting. Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, see, see, what have you been up to? Well, uh, I've been a uh, job because yeah. I have ended my studies. Mm. Um, How did it go well? Yeah, it did, it did go really well. I got, oh, uh, congratulations! Congrats! <laughs> yeah, my... Uh, oh, uh, the, um, the final, like... Grade? The word. Yeah, the final grade, or like the final assignment. Yeah. Uh, I was really nervous, because it was like really big. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and this was like the first uh, big studies I have done since I... Uh, Many yeah. Issues. Yeah. So, ah, oh, but I got um, a good grade on it, so I'm really happy. Oh, congratulations! That's, that's great. Well done. <laughs> Yay! So, but you haven't been playing much. Uh, no. Uh, just uh, it's this week that I've started playing again. Yeah. Because uh, comedy parks are celebrating years, so it's like about the week. Okay. Our, our club owners were actually a bit worried about you when I had to calm them down saying you had job and and and, and studies and, and other stuff and they were like oh okay yeah, <laughs> yeah. it is it's hard being a, a little um, yeah <laughs> yeah okay uh TC have you painted no 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 oh, dear. no <laughs> okay what was it what you were supposed to paint again the skirt boards they're scared of course, that's right. Mm. Mm. And they're not painted. No. So what not. have you been up to in February? Um, well, while not painting. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've applied for two new jobs, just to say. Oh. Um, I don't expect anything to come of one of them, but hopefully oh. for the other one, maybe. There's huh? something. Um, other than that, trying to get out. Um, I suppose trying to kind of have a schedule and kind of keep sort of working on certain series and then figuring out what series I want to continue on the channel and what other ones I want to kind of bring to a close um, mm -hmm. in that regard. In terms of Star Stable, um, I did a training event with my club a little while ago, just I think Ooh. around the start of February. Um, I think mm -hmm. we had a couple of non-members join us as well. Um, mm -hmm. Enjoyed that. And then the day of the Valentine's Day update, I think I did a live stream, but the race wouldn't work couldn't get it okay. to work so I waited to the next day I went on and did it with a friend and uh, mm -hmm. got it until it got the whole set yeah um, and then when we got the spider update there was a lot of time mm -hmm. spent on that but we'll get into that later 
yeah. and then uh, sort of going on from there. And then we did our first um, big event for a while. Mm. It was mm. a cross country themed event, and we brought the oh, dice. Yeah. Thing oh, into you it. did the dice conference. Yes, we did. <laughs> so um, that was it. Was quite funny actually because what happened was we before the event. Yeah. Me and one of my club leaders, we went down to one of the races in Fargo and we we're like, right, we're going to do this race now. Let's go around the race course and we're going to uh, take a note of every single fence and how many fences there are. So we mm-hmm. went and jumped the course over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. We wrote descriptions down of every single fence. So that in the spreadsheet, it would be like fence one logs, you know, with, you know, mm-hmm. how they were arranged wow. or whatever. And then like fence mm-hmm. five is like rocks, blah, 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 blah. Right. It's kind of like that. And like one of them was a shipping container. Right. So. Yeah. That was all well and good, and we had that all done out, you know, so we'd have our player name, um, you know, what place they got, what points they got, and then what they got um, for each fence. Mm-hmm. And thankfully, there was a there was a, a, a function within the spreadsheet which allowed us to sign a, assign a random number between one and six. Yeah. So it would automatically do that do that for us, and then it would calculate the total, so we could figure out who had won. Oh. So, day of the event arrived, we went down to Fargrove to do the race. Yeah. The race boards were on the ground. But, 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 oh. yes. No! <laughs> so, no. we were like, right, well, we're not doing that race. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um, so, we had to just do one of the races that the, for- the, the Fergrove board wasn't on the ground with. And yeah. uh, just not, we just were like, well, we're still going to score it the exact same way, but you should do it in this course instead. So that's how we did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. But so, you took this concept to a whole nother level. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then that's it just amazing. blew up in our faces. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, all that hard work. <laughs> oh. So, okay. Yeah. But uh, it seemed to go well. So I was yeah. pleased with it anyway. Yeah. Good yeah. result. Great. Fun. Um, well, I, as I said, this month passed so quickly, mm. like it was so quickly that we, if I have to be honest, we almost forgot a bit about the podcast. <laughs> it was going real quick. <laughs> it was like last week after we, before this, as we are recording, it has been like two weeks ago we started, like, I was like, you guys, <laughs> yeah. we have a podcast. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Let's start planning. <laughs> Uh, so, but that is what happens in February, I have to say. Mm-hmm. And yeah. the reason is, well, you've been busy and I've just been, uh, well, in school. Mm. Uh, a lot of school stuff and uh, tough courses. Or it was a tough course that month at least. Mm. Uh, so that's mm. why I was a bit off. Also playing a lot of um, Red Dead Redemption 2 again. <laughs> I still haven't got to start that. I, I, I'm a bit obsessed. <laughs> like, I think I need help. <laughs> But, but that is for another subject, maybe. <laughs> um, but, uh, I mean, I have been doing a lot of events with the club. Uh, there was one week I was off, and that was for an examination I had to study for. Uh, but I've been trying to do events. And, I mean, we can't forget that this month was all about the story quests. Yeah. Mm-hmm. However, oh. we are not going to talk about that. <laughs> because yeah. as we are recording this, and as this will be out, there might still be people out there who have hasn't done them. Yeah. So I can't cry again. I've cried three times already. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. yeah don't we cry. Don't re-listen to the music track I did that today and nearly started again. I was like, no. Oh, no. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. So we're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna do any spoiler, except that there might be some mentioning around like music and animation, but we're not gonna talk about the story per se mm-hmm. or what happens. Yeah. yeah. For those who has managed to keep away from the spoilers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's what everyone has been up to in February. Yeah. I think March will be a lot more fun to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> February is just that month. You don't really want to remember February. <laughs> <laughs> but moving on to our topic of this episode, which is realism and fantasy. And I figured, uh, Alex, could you maybe explain how you got this idea? Well, it's something I've seen a lot in the Star Sable community, especially with, I think, my comments as one of my favourite breeds are the Shires, and I mm-hmm. love the Yorvik Wilds. Mm. And I have, like, a little story in my head that some wild Shires migrated, is it west or east? I can't remember which way it is, where the witches are and where Evergrey was exiled to. Mm-hmm. And 
there's some type of Pandoric power which infused with Shires to make the Yorvik Wilds. Oh! So, Amazing. I really like the fantasy horses, also, obviously, the yeah. big horses. Yeah. And Pandoria is one of my absolute favorite places. I think it's just so fascinating with the mm. bioluminescent mushrooms. Yeah. The plant life, the ecosystem, and my mm. science brain just goes crazy and I just want to, you know, uncover every rock and crystal and oh. search okay. it. So I really like that. But yeah. I see a lot of people who are like, oh, I don't really like this. I'd rather have, for mm. example, horse breeding in the game or yeah. have um, more of this or more of that. And I'm like, well, mm. does it? I was thinking, like, does it really matter to people? Does it? Because I like both aspects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. I never really saw a problem in it and then I saw a lot of people saying like Star City needs to be more realistic, Star City needs to be more magical. For example, the big unicorn thing that happened yeah. is some people really want unicorns, some people don't and I was like, huh, this is actually really interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big debate. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, so, so that's kind of how the idea came about. Yeah, and that is why we're taking it. Because when uh, DZ told me about your suggestion, I was like, this is actually very interesting. Yeah. Uh, and it has been a debate for years yeah. uh, and there was actually once i think it was the first time that we got your rig wilds to the game mm. and i think it was then when the debate really blew up yeah. uh, and was huge for like weeks and i got so frustrated that uh, mm. that i in my blog that is only in swedish mm. sadly I made a huge list to prove to people saying that because there were people saying that Star Seal is too realistic for the magical horses. Mm -hmm. And I was like, have you played the game? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I made a list of all the stuff that is just not so realistic. Like for yeah. instance, we have a leader that is a squirrel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> leader of the druids. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we had another dimension so on. So it's a very long list. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, really so good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so when this was brought up, I was like, you know what? I really want this to be our topic this time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to start with the first question. Uh, what kind of games do you generally go for when it comes for comes to realism and magic? And I think it has something to do occasionally with uh, why maybe some people wanted to play SSO, Star Stable Online, or so mm. on. Like. Can you look back to what you usually play and see if it has something to do how you how you like one way in Star Stable Online? That was my idea when I thought of the question anyway. Mm. Uh, so I, for instant, um, I am a bit of both, but mm. when I'm looking back on the games that I actually play, they are mm. all basically a lot of realism. Like, it's The Sims. Which is a bit mm. of a debate if it really is that realistic, but mm. you can play it as realistic as you want, and then you have yeah. the little bit of magical if you want. Yeah. Uh, and then there's City Skylines, where I just build a lot of realistic cities. And then, of course, Red Dead Redemption 2, that is a lot of... That is more to realism, uh, even though some mm. stuff are not that realistic. <laughs> mm. And so on. So my history doesn't say that I like magic, but mm. to be honest, I'm not... I haven't been feeling that there are that many games for me that I want to play for Magic since I am not mm. a pe person that likes the violent games. Mm. Uh, so that is why I haven't really experienced that many magical games. Mm. <laughs> magical. Um, mm. So, but in Star Stable, like both, probably because I have the history with Starshine Legacy, I already know about it. Mm. Um, but. I don't know if it is in general if I like realism or if I would like magical as well. I think I'm leaning more towards realism, mm. but in a star stable, I like both. Yeah. So yeah. What What do you say, Cece? Um. Yeah, I I agree with you that uh, I I like both. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, I do kind of differ. The, most of the games I play more is more like magic and uh, more fantasy theme. Yeah. Um, I basically grew up playing World of Warcraft, mm -hmm. but, and I still play it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and I'm I'm really like a suck fantasy. I love like I always loved the um, fairy tales. And yeah. Knights and dragons and stuff. So. Mm. Um, and for real. I, I have also 
played a lot of Sims. Like yeah. I played every Sims, like mm -hmm. from the original Sims, the Sims Two and Three and Four. Mm. Um, and yeah, I I really like both realism and medical. Um, yeah. So you're beautiful both. Yeah, okay. I really like yeah. like uh, a balance, like realism with sprinkle of magic is like that's perfect. Yeah, like the Swedish for lagom. <laughs> yeah, this is lagom. Only lagom. <laughs> Only sweet to know what we're talking about. Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, what do you say, Alex? Oh, um, I think mine's a little bit different if we're talking directly about Star Stable because mm -hmm. I don't really have a horse background. Mm -hmm. I came into the game not knowing pretty much anything about horses. And um, I actually I actually started an account and like don't know about it anymore because I basically said I was like oh, I don't like this and mm -hmm. then I saw the Orbit Wilds and was like oh, I want to <laughs> join like that was wow. that was the moment for me when I was like this is the game that I want to play for example the April Fool's thing that they did with the Super Shire yeah. I want that to be a real horse <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> that would be an issue <laughs> yeah. but it is. If everyone rode, was riding around on that big shire, then just, your week would be gone. Just for a day. <laughs> just let us have, just for a day. <laughs> yeah, just for a day. So yeah, we, can ride it and, we can ride it and fight Garner with it. Oh my exactly. god, yeah. Like, stomp <laughs> on him. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah. So, when it, you come to like the realistic fantasy, I really, really like the fantasy part. But mm. I also like the realistic because for me, who didn't have any knowledge on horses, mm -hmm. it was a great way to educate myself on something that I didn't really have an interest in before. Mm. Yeah. So, for example, different horse breeds, I found it really fascinating to read their bio and, you know, oh. figure out how they were used in different things. Yeah. And I think that's just because I like researching things. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, for example, taking care of a horse in a different way you do this. And I've learned a lot being in the community. But mm. I always lean more towards the fantasy because, yeah. I mean, Pandoria is just a stunning place. If I could live yeah. there, I would. Um, so I kind of guess both. One coming from like um, excited, oh my goodness, this is amazing, to a, mm. oh, that's actually really interesting educational side. So I, mm. I do like both the different parts, I think. Mm. So. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. but, but looking back on the games you play, except Star Stable, then, what are they leaning more towards? Fantasy or realism? Um, fantasy, definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> looking at some of your videos, I'm like, yeah, it's fantasy. Why did I ask? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, there's something... I think it's just because, obviously, like, dragons, unicorns, yeah. Pegasus, Hippocamps, you know, all the different magical creatures yeah. is something that, like, for example, I can, I can go outside and see a horse now, but mm. I can't go outside and see, like, a pegasus flying in the sky. No. And I think that's yeah. something that I really like to see in a game, because it's mm. almost like, you know, for example, in Minecraft, you walk out your house and you can see, like, a magical horse fly past you, and it's like, mm. oh my goodness, it's like a kind of, I guess, like a roleplay kind of thing. But, but, but that's a mod. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a mod. Yeah. It's a mod. <laughs> Should probably say that. Don't lie um, to the kids now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I okay. think that type of thing, yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, and then lastly, TC. Um, if I look at the kind of games that I've generally played up until Star Stable, mm -hmm. if I take the likes of Skyrim, there mm. is elements of realism in that. But it's yeah. very much a mythical world, and I think Skyrim is one of my favorite things because it's just like you just yeah. you endlessly come up and find things, or you could be on the same yeah. road five mm. minutes later and there's bandits or whatever, um, mm. or you could be on the same part of the mountain the next day and there's a saber tooth or saber tooth cat mm. on it. Um, yeah. I love that. I think mm. Skyrim is like one of my favorite games for that. You're gonna love Red Dead Redemption too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then if I go back to the likes of the first Red Dead. Redemption. Mm. Um, mm. I loved that game. Like I loved Red Dead Redemption. And then mm. they brought out the Undead Nightmare DLC oh, yeah. for that, and I mm. honestly have, like there's very few games that I've enjoyed as much as I did that. And I would never have put <laughs> cowboys and zombies together. 
<laughs> and it was amazing. It was okay. so amazing. And then there was also the other elements to that was you could go and catch a unicorn. You could come up against mythical creatures that you'd have to go and find, um, like the Chupacabra, for example. Just random mm -hmm. things like that in that game. And for me, it added so much. And I absolutely loved that game yeah. to pieces. So I'm very <laughs> okay. much looking forward to Red Red Redemption 2 when I get a chance to play it. Um, oh. And then like if I think of like something like Assassin's Creed, the first couple mm -hmm. of games, I didn't play the later ones. Mm -hmm. Um... I really enjoyed, there was a lot of realism in mm -hmm. certain aspects of that historically, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. then there was also this fantasy kind of futuristic element to it, mm -hmm. and it just really worked. And I loved, um, like, although I've played a lot of, like, first person shooters, like Call of Duty and thing, like, things mm -hmm. like that, um, what I loved about Assassin's Creed, especially the first one, mm -hmm. was the way that fights were conducted in that, mm -hmm. because there was no guns. And I yeah. absolutely loved that. And then there was horses. <laughs> so that was like an extra <laughs> bonus. Yeah. So um, for me, that was, I, I guess, I like, I do like some realism. There's things where I like things to be realistic, you know, mm -hmm. but I don't mind if they twist it a little bit or if there's a little bit of fantasy in it. I mean, if we sort of mm -hmm. look slightly at Star Stable, I kind of feel the same. But the Wilds, whenever the Wilds came out, I don't think I've ever been as excited as I was in my buying mm -hmm. the Wild Horses video. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whenever I watch it back, I'm like, oh my god, you're so excitable in that video. Calm down. <laughs> you know? Because um, I was, I literally was just bubbling. I was so excited that day. Because oh. whenever I'd seen Galloper Thompson's horse during the Halloween update, I was like, please, 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 Star Stable. I will buy that horse if you put it in yeah. the game for me to buy it. And then they brought out the Orbic Wilds and I just lost my mind. So, yeah. Um, I guess for me, if I'm playing a game which I expect to re be realistic, then I probably do want it to be as realistic as possible. Mm. But then mm. I also have to be aware that not everything, mm. you know, necessarily works Yeah. in that way. And sometimes having a little bit of a twist on it or having something magical about it actually lifts mm. it and mm. adds to it. Which I think, like, for me, if you turned around to me and said, oh, let's play this Red Dead Redemption, I'd never heard of it. Like, just put it, pretend it's like that. And you go, mm. I'm going to put zombies and cowboys together i would have been like mm, no that's not gonna work but actually it was amazing um and it worked so well because it was so well done so for me it's kind of both i guess mm -hmm. for me like um i do probably shift slightly towards more unrealistic games at times but mm -hmm. still like a little bit of realism in certain parts yeah okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so moving on. Uh, would you like it to be more magic or more realistic in Star Stable Online? Uh, Cece, what do you think? Um, well, I kind of think like a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. um, you want more of everything? Well, yeah, I'm a greedy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of like different things. Um, I want more magic, like, um, like our character. Mm. I want the character to be able to use more magic. Mm. Like, we are like the chosen one. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. We have like a lot of magic potential. Mm. But we haven't really seen that so far. So I would really yeah, like to have more more magic that way. Yeah. Um, and on the realistic side, um, since I have a horse background, I really like uh, like equestrian things like mm. uh, like I would uh, wish for more uh, like I mentioned in previous episodes uh, more um, uh, different equestrian uh, wow well, just completely lost the word tack yeah tack and uh, equestrian uh, sport like different, yeah sport yes okay. uh, different equestrian sports uh, and tack um, so yeah, that side could be, like, the question side could be more realistic. Yeah. So more of everything. <laughs> yeah, more of everything. <laughs> you are too greedy. <laughs> you ask too much. Girl. Yeah, but it's kind of, especially, it's kind of like a both. So why not more of it? <laughs> yeah, well, you do. Well, it does sound like the community. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you I'm think? Happy. Yeah, sure. 
Uh, what do you think, TC? Um, I think when it comes to Star Stable, there are certain parts where I want more realism. Like, mm -hmm. I want dressage to be a thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, totally. I want to be able to build my own courses, like to be able to go in and like set up something like that. Yeah. Those mm -hmm. in those regards, that's where the realism comes in for me, where I'm like, mm -hmm. I want more of those basic things there. Um, mm -hmm. Especially when it comes to likes of clubs, but like, we'll not go into that because that, like, we've talked about clubs before, but like, in those regards, mm -hmm. I want to be able to do more things like that. To be mm -hmm. able to hold competitions and things like that, maybe mm -hmm. within your club or something. Um, and in terms of the magic, like, I know the unicorn debate's a big one, and I'd love a unicorn, but. Um, yeah. where I would kind of meet in the middle the fun is to be able to buy an accessory that I can put on yeah. any horse fix it yeah you know just like a little, yeah like a little unicorn horn um <laughs> so in that regard like there are certain parts where I'm like I'm fine with maybe sort of coming down in the middle like because I know yeah. some people don't really want to go full magical way and it's I don't think it would work at the same time if it went completely yeah. that way, but I feel like there's elements that you could take for fun, like, you know, wings yeah. that you could put on your horse to wear, uh, you yeah. know, silly little things like that, which I feel like for the people that do want to have that, mm. and I'd be one mm. of them, <laughs> I could, I could yeah. do that. Um, but yeah. then, as I said, like, there is parts where I'm like, I want this to be more realistic. Where I wouldn't mm. want to personally see it go is, like, breeding. Mm. And I have mm. reasons for this. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'd love breeding in the game. Well, if they opened mm. up breeding, then what's to stop them people pushing and saying, oh, I want genetics mm. in there. And that opens up an entirely different part, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because then with genetics, you also get things like, you know, certain... <sighs> I don't know if I would say it's going to necessarily come up a lot, but like certain mm. genes where the folds won't survive, Yeah. You know, for example. Mm -hmm. um, whenever certain colors are crossed. Um, yeah. If you take it to maybe the likes of Leash Online, where it's a random number generator, mm -hmm. um, then you're kind of lo losing that realism element. Yeah. It's kind of the same on horse. Like, horse, for example, they don't, uh, there's actually no color genetics there. But if you look yeah. at the likes of Horse Eden or Horse Reality, mm -hmm. they do mm -hmm. bring in color genetics. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And Horse Reality, you can actually lose the folds. The mare mm -hmm. actually might miscarry. Oh, um, wow. They bring in, like, those different elements so for me it's like how far do you take that realism yeah um the breeding part of it is with any game that i've ever played with horses when you breed horses you're going to mm. end up with horses you don't want yeah they weren't what you desired alicia and yeah. being in a perfect example of that mm. um mm. how much is it going to cost what do you do with the horses you don't want yeah um, what is the purpose of breeding because mm. yeah. star stable and i this is one of the things that i personally felt like I, was one of the reasons I really liked Star Stable when I first started mm -hmm. playing, was mm -hmm. because I could buy a horse three years ago, and it would still be as valuable to me three years later, stats wise. Mm -hmm. so the stats were I could go into any championship of that horse if that horse mm -hmm. was maxed, and still have as good a chance against. Let's say Alex buys one that week, gets it to like oh, yeah. level fifteen, you know, and we're mm -hmm. both same stats in every other way. We both still yeah. got a decent chance of winning that championship. Mm -hmm. Mm. Because when you bring in that realism, the breeding, people are going to expect to maybe get different stats or things like that. Um, mm. And that's where, um, like, for example, with horse, horses become useless, essentially. Yeah. Um, mm. Because I have horses that I bred 10 years ago in that game mm. who are absolutely worthless mm -hmm. now. Um, and oh. it got worthless very quickly because of the rate at mm. which other people were producing horses. So. Oh. That's where I feel like you have to have a line where you said, this is kind of where we want to sit. Yeah. Because you can go, if you're going to go the full realism way, that's a very far line. Yeah. And if you go the full magic way, you can kind of do anything you want. But yeah, um, I think it's important that wherever a horse game is assigning itself, it assigns itself and says, this is where we are. Or we're kind of yeah. in the middle here or slightly more this way or that way. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why for me, I don't mind if Star Stable goes more magic. I also don't mind if it goes more realism, but mm. I don't want it to go too far one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. okay. Hmm. Interesting aspect of the realism that I never thought of. <laughs> I was like, yeah. oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, right. That's because I don't play the, the horse or anything like that. Probably. Mm. My fault. Uh, but Alex, what do you think of this more magical, mm. more realism? Mm. When I hear realism i would like to hear 
like um i would like to see more like education put into mm -hmm. it like i know some people are thinking like oh education mm -hmm. like so but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i think it's important now there's a word i'm trying to think of and i can't remember it but basically it means where you take a medium in which people mm -hmm. like so for mm -hmm. example star stable and mm -hmm. you can educate them through that medium so Ta tangible learning that ta tangible learning oh. thank you okay. Um, and that's something I would like to see coming from not having a horse background. So, mm -hmm. for example, you know, just something small like the daily care you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was something nice and something different, but I would like if they like fleshed out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And they had that with like a few other things. I don't really know exactly what, but then, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's what I would like from the realism side. Just a bit of yeah. a, oh, that's mm -hmm. how equestrians do this or this mm. is what equestrians mm. normally do or something like that mm. um because i think you can teach people well people who are like me who don't know anything mm. and people who maybe do things a little bit differently but oh other people do it that way but then mm. Mm. that mm. would be nice but oh, yeah. i love magical stuff so. <laughs> <laughs> as we have noticed <laughs> yeah. um but no i like star stable because like one of my favorite quest lines is uh is it rainers mystical Ron yeah. Oh, yeah yeah Ronia. Oh. um where you it really feels like you have a friendship with her and that's something i think they did really really well mm. yeah. the same with the rescuing iron quest obviously the rescue iron quest is very fantasy based yeah <laughs> but when it was really really well done mm. i don't really think it matters because you're not sat there going oh this is too fancy oh this is too realistic you're just emerged Mm. the world and the story and the characters yeah. and obviously a lot of people got emotional no spoilers but a lot of people got emotional mm -hmm. and that's what i think a game should portray it doesn't yeah. matter if it's realistic or fantasy i think it's more what you do in your free time mm. yeah. so for example you know some people just do training some people do events some people do this and i think that's where people have this idea of the realistic and fantasy yeah mm -hmm. so yeah i think i'm gonna be both I would like us to see, like CC said More about, about yeah, okay. using yeah. our powers and, mm -hmm. you know, <gasps> yeah. and the, oh, I wanted to, I'm not gonna, I, I don't know what I can spoil or not in the game, so I'm not gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably best not to. <laughs> yeah. uh, but when it comes to me, I was quite interested in what you said about tangible learning. Mm -hmm. However, when it comes to the grooming part, mm -hmm. Me being someone who has been growing up a lot with horse games, uh, I understand that you haven't played any of them. Uh, mm -hmm. The old ones, uh, like, mm -hmm. I, I don't even know what they're called in English. Uh, but a lot of uh, them, uh, the issue some of them have, what's the grooming part? Because mm -hmm. if you make the grooming part really realistic in the game, mm -hmm. you will get bored so quickly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> the the ones that has done the really realistic, you will groom your horse uh, probably every ten minutes. You okay, will have yeah. to do everything, uh, mm. and that includes feeding, mucking, uh, brushing, washing, uh, mm. fixing the hooves, and braiding if you want that, and so mm. on. And even mm. if we're going to go all in, then we have the shaving, and we have the vet, and we have the cleaning of the stall, yeah. more yeah. than mucking, and. Uh, yeah, and so on. So it's going to be a very... It, I can see how mm. it would be interesting for you to learn. Mm. But for Star Stable, it would be fun to have yeah. if it wasn't something that you had to do. Yeah, Like, like a quest a line? Something yeah, like, like a that. one More of a choice, maybe. Mm. Oh okay. yeah, that's good too. Because I get what you mean, because there's a lot of horse games I've played over the years, and some of them, yeah. I get so sick. <laughs> Yeah, brushing, 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 brushing. it's like <laughs> yeah. I've been here 15 minutes and I still, <laughs> and, you know, and yeah. you're kind of like, if it's a real horse, you have to do it, like mm -hmm. it or not, but you have to do it. But here, the thing is just like, no, I just want to click a button and have it done. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, I know we have a stable girl, a stable girl, if we pay for stable yeah. care, but we all see her sleeping in the stable, so we know she'll not <laughs> yeah. do her job. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, so there's no point ten. She'll do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so, but in in another way that we could bring the tangible in, I think we could bring it in on other subjects or mm -hmm. suspects of the game mm -hmm. uh, than grooming. 
Because mm. uh, I think they have pretty much the basic as it is right now. The, I mean, the hooves are important and it is important to brush. Yeah. Um, and feeding and water. Mm. Uh, although we don't get to water the horse, and we always have to feed it from our hands, which is not that realistic. Yeah. <laughs> um, Even if we had like a button in the stalls, for example, we should switch it, and if we wanted to do it, we could do mm. it. Like, let's say yeah. that you need to muck out the stalls, for, because for people who want to sit and do that, that'd be great yeah. do that all day long. For me, I just yeah, like, yeah. I want a button, but just done. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, maybe, yeah. Maybe they could have the entire thing in, but then it would be sure that if you paid this table bill, she would do everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But she probably would. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, back to me. Uh, I, I'm quite happy as it is right now, but I have to agree with you. That, of course, I want it to be more. I want more realism. And, and, but magic-wise, yeah. In a way, I am starting to wonder sometimes uh, about our character, if she is really the chosen one. Because right now, it feels like we're standing there watching. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, on most cases and uh, so it would be more fun if our character got to be more powerful as they say we are but maybe it is something that we will get more in the future because mm -hmm. uh, I mean the online game being an online game they're gonna be here for years so yeah. they have to stretch out the story as much yeah. as they can so I think maybe in the future we will get more but I would have liked to see more of that. Yeah. Um, but what I really like with Star Stable Online is how, if you haven't played the other games before, how you enter the game, it, it mm. looks realistic, it's like a realistic world, it's trees and birds and everything, people, horses, and mm. then as you start doing the quest, you are slowly getting deeper and deeper into the story that is also giving you deeper into the magic of your week. Mm. Yeah. That is sort of hidden, because we can't forget that there are people in your week also that don't know what is going on mm -hmm. yeah. so there can't be that much of obvious magic around because then they would look mm -hmm. very stupid although they already do because there are some portals that are very obvious and i wonder how they haven't seen them yet <laughs> yeah <laughs> but apparently they don't see it so maybe we are even more special than we think mm -hmm. um but yeah so I i'm really happy with the balance that it is now and how they mm -hmm. build it up uh, to getting more magic. So I think in a way we're going to get even more magical in the future. Mm. So moving on with the next question. Wait, uh, could I I have a follow-up question to the oh, yeah, sure. realistic thing. Yeah. What about um talking about horse breeds? Would you like more realistic horse breeds or more magical horse breeds as such? <laughs> more realistical, but that is me. <laughs> uh, but, but we are also getting to this uh, in uh, one of the questions further down. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, yes. Uh, but the next, we can take it now, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the question was, what do you think of being both magical and realistic horses in the game? Oh, sorry. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. It's good that you're excited. <laughs> 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 uh, but then I would like to hear, what do you think about that, Alex? Oh, I don't know. This is... <laughs> yeah. See, one of my favorite horses is the... Yorvit Wild, the like reddish purple one mm -hmm. that came out in the second wave yeah. of Yorvit Wild because it's based on one of the mushrooms in Mistful. Mm. And I don't know, I just love it. It's my mushroom horse. I absolutely love oh, it. I think it's so funny. cute. And mm. I don't know, I just think, I don't know, the magic horses have a lot more, I think, personality to me because mm -hmm. they're really unique and they stand out and. Yeah. They're just fun to ride. It's fun to ride when that little bar comes up and it's like, magical power is going, and you're like, okay! Yeah, <laughs> like, it's exciting to me, I don't know. So, okay. yeah, definitely more magical horses. <laughs> okay, uh, and you like that it is a mix in the game, that, they, that you have both? Yeah, I do. Like, I really like having Shires, obviously mm. my babies, yeah. and yeah. I do like the fact that there's a, there was a lot of breeds that were introduced to me, mm -hmm. but I didn't know about, such as the Lusitanos. I think the oh. way that they did that quest line mm -hmm. where they introduced yeah. it i really wish that they would do that with some of the newer breeds as well yeah because it made me go oh okay like it educated me on something yeah. that i didn't know so yeah. i liked that that is true so yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a good question yeah yeah okay uh tc I think you like a demon horse. I want a demon horse and an undead <laughs> horse and a skeleton horse. <laughs> the list continues. Um, yes. I don't know for anybody that played Skyrim, Skyrim would have remembered Arvac. Mm. 
He was uh, a, no, I haven't played it. He was a flaming skeleton horse, and Ooh. I loved that so much. Um, mm. I do at the same time want more realistic horses in terms that I like. If I sort of pick two horses, that I think really were very good. It was the Trichiner, mm. other than the Trump, mm. but I've already gone into that, so we're not going back. To yeah, that. and the Lusitano. Mm, I think yeah. they were just on that spot where it's as sort of Lisa mentioned that cartoon realism mm-hmm. where it still sits within Star Stable but yeah. it's yeah. there's still, you know, realisticness to it. I mean mm. my still one of my favourite all time ones is the Black and White Hanoverian. Like I love that horse. Oh yeah. That's I'm good. still a very much a big fan of the English Thoroughbreds, even though mm. you know, I suppose now they're kind of a bit outdated. Oh. Yeah, compared mm. to the rest. Mm. Um, so for me, like, I think what's more important to me is that horses have a bit of personality. Um, mm. I mean, that's what I always liked. I mean, I only have the one share, which is Bob. I mean, I do have all mm. of the heavy Yorvik Welts, but yeah, I just find the very, I find the shares very sassy, and yeah. I like that. And then okay, the the English thoroughbreds are kind of a bit fidgety, and not a lot of people mm. like that. But to me, that kind of added to their personality. So I just like little mm. things about each individual breed that just make them a little bit different from everything else just we mm. all things like that for, for me that nearly supersedes the magic and the realism of it mm. it's about making sure that they all have a little bit of unique personality to themselves in their animations mm. or something like that um and like there's some you know patterns that i'd like to see in different colors mm. and things like that and different mm. shades of things but um I think I know that the magical element doesn't really necessarily suit everyone, and I, I know that like it's kind of nice around Halloween when we get the powders, we mm. change the look of our starters. I I quite mm. enjoy that. I find it a very fun thing. Mm. Um, so I think for me, while I do want all these really silly horses um, <laughs> that some people <laughs> do not want, um, I am also aware that I do like whenever the something's done really really well, and the Trichiner and Lusitano, and especially that quest as you mentioned with the mm. the Lusitano. That yeah. really added to them, and I think actually, if we did have more quests like that, which kind of added to the personality of the horses, I think that would help build that yeah. as well. Um, mm. Because mm. Lusitanos are quite still, but then they are these quite magnificent, beautiful yeah. horses. So yeah. that kind of does. And drama queens. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I guess uh, that for me is, is is kind of what's important is the personality. That goes with it because mm-hmm. I didn't mind my derpy starter horse because it was my derpy starter horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> her. <laughs> like, uh, but they're perfect now. They're be- I liked my moose, and I will continue to say that I liked my moose. <laughs> I still uh, like my moose, even though he's not a pretty moose. <laughs> so, you know, um, I get. I like the option for other people to have uh, to buy magical horses if they want it. Uh, I myself want. I'm not a fan of the magical horses, mm-hmm. uh, not not knowing really why, because I mean they're all stunning and beautiful. Like especially the latest one we got from uh, Winter Village was yeah. stunning. Uh, but I, even if I buy these horses, they end up just standing in my stable, and I will bring out all the realistic ones th- uh, instead. So I yeah. started to feel a bit more like, yeah, I shouldn't buy these horses <laughs> <laughs> unless I have to, because I do need to do the reviews. Um, but mm-hmm. most, I'm lucky there that the magical horses in the game so far has only been like recolors of models we already have, mm-hmm. so I can just continue my reviews as usual. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I want more realism, but I am happy for the players that really want the magical horses to have the mm-hmm. option to at least have it. Uh, mm-hmm. So yeah, that's that's my answer. So uh, yeah. CC. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, I also prefer that you have the option. Mm. Um, and for magical horses, I really wish for a Jorvik while with the Fjord. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I must mention Fjord in this. Yes! <laughs> OCD now, I don't know. Now, should we just add in um, that it should also be purple? Yeah. <laughs> yep. I, I want it to be like uh, Pandoric purple, like, oh, with, with the own so face cool. swirl and the zebra marks on the legs. Oh, it would be so gorgeous. Mm. Ah, I really wish for that. That day. Maybe yeah. we should poke Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, poke, poke, poke. poke. Um, yeah. So, yeah, um, but I also really like that 
they are getting really good at making realistic horses. Mm. Uh, they're just getting better and better with yeah. each and every horse. Um, so, for example, if you look back to the very first horse model with the new animations and such, uh, the quarter horse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that horse kind of bothered me because it doesn't, for me as a uh, person with uh, a question background, mm -hmm. that horse doesn't really look like a quarter horse to me. No, not really. anymore. <laughs> um, because I think, for starters, I think it's, it's too small. And yeah. It kind of looks more like a crossbreed with Arabian and Pony, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, nothing wrong with it. It's super cute and I love them. Um, but it doesn't scream quarter horse. So mm -hmm. for me, it's an equestrian it kind of bothers me a little bit. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. When you look at them, they don't... Sc yeah. Like, you want to be able to look at a horse from three fields they away and oh, know what breed that. it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so this... Yeah, in my mind, it should be like bigger and more muscular, especially like they're, they're behind. They have really strong uh, butts, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, which they don't have. They kind of like they're really cute and sweet, but they're not like mm -hmm. oh, uh, that kind of bothers me. So, mm -hmm. um, for that point, I do enjoy uh, the really realistic horses very much as an equestrian person. Yeah, because I feel yeah. like if they were to update the quarter horses, like, yeah. I think if we got the option in future, let's say with a lot of the old, really old mm -hmm. ones, if they yeah. were to release new models and we had the option to upgrade, um, let's yeah. say for a third of the price or something like that of the new one, yeah. there are some of the horses that I would do that with. Um, mm. yeah. I don't know if I would do it with one of my, I have, technically I have a paint on a quarter horse because it's the same model. Yeah, the quarter I'd nearly leave him as he is because mm -hmm. I bought him and at a time where I really needed the distraction of training, mm -hmm. and it kept yeah. my mind because I had somebody who was ill at the time, and I was yeah. just like mm -hmm. I couldn't go and see them in the hospital at the time, so I had to just wait. Mm -hmm. So I needed something yeah. to do. Um, yeah. So like I remember training that horse. And I'm very very fond of that horse. Mm -hmm. But then I have my paint, and I don't have that same kind of attachment. So I feel like if they were to update mm -hmm. the paint, I probably would upgrade. Yeah. If they allowed that as a th as an option in future, yeah. even if it was a different color. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So it is good to have both, basically. Yeah. I think that is yeah. basically yeah. the answer we have gotten here. Um, and I would like to see more magic horses in the future, uh, mostly new models. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. I feel that the ones that we have, not only the ones that we are getting are really good, but the, mm. well, yeah. I'm getting into this later. <laughs> so moving on to the last question I have uh, for all of us is should, uh, sort of going back to, this, uh, to the subject we talked about before, should Star Stable lean towards uh, one more than the other when it comes to realism or magic? Mm. Like, should they start leaning more towards magic or more towards realism? Mm. What do you think, Cece? Yeah, that's a very tough question. Um, because they the really kind of are like in the middle, um, with a little bit of A and a little bit of B. Mm. Um, so it's hard to tell how different the game would be if yeah. they would go more towards the other. Mm. So yeah, it's really tricky. Um, me personally, I just really like this balance and that you have an option. Yeah. Um, because most horse games, or, you know, there aren't, to be fair, there aren't really that many horse games out there, sadly. Mm. Um, so I really enjoy that Star Stable has uh, so many options that you can, uh, yeah, you can have your magical. And be like, oh, I'm having my little, live your little girl, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like that, and uh, um, or like you can prance around in magical cloud kingdom in the rainbows, mm. <laughs> when that was Yuri, um, or you could do uh, like really realistic events with your club and have your really sport horse, like if you're and a Christian person and you really like to follow the Christian 
uh, the FPs in uh, mm, mm. show jumping and such. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't really know how to end. Really, I just. I really yep. like this. Yeah, that they have both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I have to agree that they have a very good balance right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially that they are sort of building the magic up, as I said before, uh, through yeah, the story. Exactly. Um, yeah. So I I can't really say that I want more realism. Like before when we said we want just more of everything instead. Yeah. Like we want the balance to be there and then, yeah. just, then just want them to continue grow mm -hmm. but have that balance, not yeah. more of anything. Uh, so, yeah, I have to agree. What do you think, Alex? I actually agree with you. I think we do, I do like the balance. I think mm -hmm. it just, it needs to be focused, like, there needs to be more realistic, for example, in the events for the clubs. That mm -hmm. should be more yeah, realistic yeah. than in, yeah, so like different quest lines or different this, it should be pushed more, I think. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you are doing a club event, maybe mm -hmm. that should just stay realistic. They shouldn't yeah. add, like, you know, a <laughs> flying race or something <laughs> I know, love that <laughs> no, honestly, yeah. I would too. but then when you have things like the cloud kingdom or pandoria or something they should really yeah. push the magical they should try and yeah. come yeah. back on a realistic and i think that's something star Silver does well is they know where they need to put that focus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah i think the balance is good and i just think Obviously, mm. if something is realistic, it should stay realistic. Yeah. And if something is magical, it should stay magical. So if you wanted mm. to go and run around Pandora, you can. And you can't sit there and say, "Do well, I want Pandora to be realistic. It doesn't really work. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we have a first problem. It is <laughs> other dimension. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and what do you think, TC? I think they've got a good balance as you guys have said mm. at the moment i feel mm. like mm. you are kind of introduced to this world slowly because mm. initially you maybe don't realize that there's all this going on and mm. as you kind of go further and further through the quests um mm. Mm. i think that works in its favor i don't think mm. there's any particular benefit that's going to come from going extremely one way or extremely the other yeah no, but as i yeah. said there's just certain aspects where i'm like i would want more realism here and i mm. want used mm. to you know, I, I feel like clubs, as Alex has mentioned, are a big area that I mm. want more stuff there that I can actually do with yeah. them. You know, for example, like, there's been times where I've had maybe a club activity where, you know, something like the simple benefit of being able to maybe tag someone or something like mm. that um, for, like, hide and seek or something. Mm -hmm. It would have to be you know, made a lot simpler in that way. Just certain features I feel like that would mm. be kind of realistic to make it yeah. a little bit easier because, you know, it, for just an example, if you're doing a kind of event like that, it's very hard to tell who's the first person there sometimes because you might yeah. see somebody further ahead in your screen, but in actual fact they're behind you. So I feel yeah. like certain features that would make it a little bit easier in that regard would definitely help. And I think that's where I would want to see more realistic features that could help mm. clubs run events and things like that. Mm -hmm. and, and really benefit people but like in terms of the magic side of it i'm fine if there's some magical el elements in the quest as long as they mm -hmm. work with that quest line yeah for me. so i don't think that they need to lean you know one way or the other overall i think they just have mm -hmm. to in certain areas mm -hmm. like lean mm -hmm. one way maybe um i think specifically for me it would be clubs lean yeah. more towards the realism because i need more features that will make it more effective and helpful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? mm. So far, now that I realized, as I was thinking about the magic, because I was thinking like it's so good that they have magic like only in story quests, and I was like, wait, maybe that is the people's problem that wants more magic. That when they're not doing all the quests, they want to be able to do sort of magic. Because oh. when we're not in quests, th mm. we are basically only in the realistic world. Like, sure, there are some uh, uh, some portals we can go mm. to Pandoria, but there aren't really any. Mm magical stuff than mm. that mm. except uh, holidays when we have bunnies changing our horses and stuff yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but other than that there is no magic there is only mm. realism there mm. would there be interesting would it be something to do something there that we can sort of magic our horses to be clean <laughs> or something <laughs> like that <laughs> 
<laughs> or teleport. Well, teleporting would be nice, uh, but we can't do <laughs> But just bring that in more into the gameplay itself, when it's not story mm -hmm. quest. Yeah, it is kind of missing, thing. but I just don't even know. I'm just trying to think, yeah. like, where would I put it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That is maybe their problem as well right now, that they don't really mm -hmm. know how would we implement it and where. Because there still need to be a reason for it. Yeah. Can't just do it. Like, you can do poop. <laughs> like, okay, why can I do poop? Well, I don't know. You want a magic? <laughs> do you have the poop? I mean, even if, like, we had a weekend thing where f some magical thing would mean that we got double XP, I'd love that, you know? That. Yes. We already have that. <laughs> I know, but I mean more frequently. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, yeah we did. Sure. that's true. Because um, at the minute, like, waiting for that race that happens once in a blue moon, where mm. we get a cer certain breed where we can get more XP, mm. um, for the people who have, like, a hundred horses, which isn't me, yeah. but, mm. you know, the train. I didn't specifically <laughs> mean <Like> you. CC. <laughs> or CC. <laughs> you know, certain people. Uh, <laughs> you know people. Yes, people. <laughs> It would help, and it would. I would yeah, love it too. Anyway, mm -hmm. you I know. Agree. So yeah. I feel like maybe if they brought that in, like it's a magical weekend, and you'll get double XP. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd love that. <laughs> That's um, the only magic. <laughs> well, I don't know whether we have to do something specifically to get the magic. I mean, I don't know whether like they could implement something where, let's say, if so many mm -hmm. people collect so many of an item during the course of the first mm -hmm. week and a half. Yeah. Maybe first two weeks on on the on that month, and if they reach mm. that target, then everybody gets this. I don't oh, know something like that, where cool. there's like gems to collect yeah. around the map or something. Like that. Okay, like a group thing. You kind have to of be like a group, group thing, yes, because yeah. Yeah. On... you can't do that for the entire all the players, all five million players get something because <laughs> one data race. <laughs> well, no, the reason I'm, I'm suggesting it is because like on a horse, whenever we have promotions, sometimes. The promotion mm. is like whatever server you're on. So let's say if you're on the UK mm. server, basically mm. what there'll be a target and it's based on how many people are on that server. So let's say there's mm. 5,000 on that server. They'll take a portion of that. So let's say it's 40%. So mm. if 40% of people go do a little bit of effort and collect enough and they get maybe 20,000 gems or whatever, mm. then yeah. it unlocks this. But if they get 40,000 gems and it unlocks this mm. reward, at the, mm. you know within a certain date so i feel like oh. if star people did something like that and kind of added mm. a magical element to it i just wonder mm. would it kind of kind of bring a little bit of magic into the just the general gameplay but it would also motivate yeah. people to be like actually i'm gonna go and do my races or i'm gonna go and do this because i'm yeah. you know there's a chance i'll get this at the end of it yeah you know? yeah okay that's that's cool. Uh, I also want to mention before, uh, yeah, I just want to mention to anyone who's listening that all of this is just discussion. We all have our personal opinions on this, and nothing is wrong, nothing is right. Uh, just to make that is clear. Uh, does anyone else have any questions to everyone? Yes, actually, I do. Yeah. What do you think about horse coats? So, for example. Um, in real life, Lusitana horses can't be paints. So, mm. would, you, would you like a paint Lusitana? No, not Lusitana. Lipizana. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, the Lipizana. <laughs> Especially with the Lipizana, we have the uh, the issue that the breed can only have like they are bred to be white. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yes, for everyone who's listening, who might mm. not be informed. Uh, they are bred to be white, but there are occasions where they can be brown or black. Mm rarely used in show but there is this thing that they use occasionally a brown person show for luck actually mm. uh, but otherwise they are supposed to be white 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 they can be gray mm. but they're supposed to be white um so that's standard for them. Mm. yeah uh, the breed standard so would you yeah. want to see more of them sticking to like the breed standard or would you like them to kind of go outside the box in that way me i am very I'm like, stick to the standards, <laughs> or I will go nuts. <laughs> no, I wouldn't go nuts. I would see why they would want to be more experiencing, mm. but I feel like if they are going to do a breed as mm. as it is, then they should stick to the standards. Um, and also, since they are in, they are releasing so many kinds of breeds that are, mm. have their own kind of standards that are mm. different for any from the ads. If mm. you want a paint, well, then go and buy a paint. They have tons of paint colors. Don't mm. go and buy in the Lipizzan because they don't have any paint. <laughs> uh, but there was this issue uh, with the first Arabians that we got. 
Mm -hmm. uh, most of them came out with their breed standards and then they released uh, paint and they didn't call it a paint, uh, painting, a, a rapier, what is it called? Damn it. A okay. pentavium? A they didn't call it a Potavian. They called it Arabian, but it was. Oh, okay. oh and they also mm -hmm. uh, the the tiger, what the spotted one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also that, and also not Arabian breed standards today. Yeah. It was a long time ago, and uh, so when they were released, there was actually a big debate. Some were happy, and some were like, "They're not supposed to look like that. What are you doing?" Yeah. <laughs> um. So for me personally, I would say realistic. Keep to the standard. Mm. What do you others say? Just to kind of add on to that, if you go and look at Connemars, for example, um, mm. this, years and years ago, Perlinos and Cremellos weren't accepted colors, mm. right? Any mm. double dilate wasn't an accepted color. Um, they were kind of like looked at as, um, not to say a deformity, but they were kind of looked at like they shouldn't exist within mm -hmm. the, the standard. So if you had one, you just you just didn't acknowledge that you had it, um, and what kind mm. of happened with this is because uh, a lot of the Connemaras were kind of being pushed, the greys became very popular, but the grey gene has been quite quite quickly linked now I think to melanoma in horses. Mm. So the more and more horses in the Connemaras who were you know it was grey bred to grey and so it kept going going going, mm -hmm. then you had this increased chance of melanoma. And only recently are the mm. Corbellos and Perlinos been accepted into the breed standard. Mm. And what we saw was a great decline in the amount of buckskin Connemars there was. And that's because the buckskin has a cream, so it's done one of the dilute genes on a bay, mm. or if you look at a chestnut, a palomino and all that. Um, but now that those are coming back in, it's kind of helping a little bit. And I think as, as more people kind of go away from that. But the reason this is relevant, because I've kind of slightly mm -hmm. gone off topic a little bit, is yeah. because when it comes to realisticness in the game, mm -hmm. it's kind of like there is other outside factors to that, like as I've just said there, where this sort of chasing of standards actually had um, a health effect upon a breed. Mm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. for me personally, and I think I said this in whenever we were talking to Lisa, if they released a colour that wasn't on an actual horse breed, I would be fine mm -hmm. if they called it a sport horse or a sport pony. Yeah. Let's say oh, okay. mm -hmm. Lusitano, it was a, you know the way they did with the sport Frisians? Yeah. yeah. So you could throw it that way. For me, then mm -hmm. you could kind of say, well, we still have the breed standard colours on the horse, but there's also mm -hmm. this, because as I did say before, I would love a black and white Lusitano. Yeah, yeah. I, I, we've so, seen it. <laughs> I know I've kind of slightly gone off topic, but like for me, thinking at it from a realistic point, I'm like, well, there's mm -hmm. actually all these different genes attached mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. color genetics. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I know it's not really Star Stable, and Star Stable hasn't really anything to do with it, but that's mm -hmm. where I kind of think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> just processing. Just processing. I am processing all the information. And yeah. Like, I decided like Google. Like, can I Google a Lusitano paint? And all the results I got was either a Lusitano or it was a mix. So, I mean, it would be interesting. There are some popular mix to do uh, yeah. that aren't really breeds, but it is like mm. uh, typical to do like um, uh, Lusitano and then a thoroughbred. Uh, or so on, and then doing that can occasionally yeah. cause different kinds of color. Yeah, well, that would be a way. Uh, but I think Star Stable is way too busy with updating what we already have in the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for that to happen, but maybe in the future. Mm. Um, but yeah, okay. Uh, 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 Cece, what do you think? Have you processed? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Um, I just. I have just been like, oh, like, I think for the Shire horses, there is um, the one uh, that is. Uh, oh, I forgot the, the question for. Uh, um, wow, words. <laughs> um, very low processing. Um, uh, is it the one with the white face? The black one with the white uh, face? Is that the one you're talking about? Uh, the red one. The chestnut. Yeah, the chestnut. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that chestnut is not uh, 
what is it exactly color for shy horses? It depends where you come from, because yeah. UK oh. and America have different breed standards. Oh, um, see, that's the other thing too. Yeah. Wow. For example, oh. you can't have <laughs> big markings on horse. So oh, the yeah. the one you get from Crescent Moon, I don't actually yeah. know what it's called. That one would have been basically tossed out. It's not allowed. That's but, new. It is allowed in America. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because that's, that's the thing I've noticed as well. If you yeah. go to different places, they'll accept yeah. some colors. Yeah. Because when the Carmelas and Perlinas weren't being accepted, what mm -hmm. they were actually doing was reducing the amount of genetic mm -hmm. variety there was. Yeah. yeah. And that was having a knock on effect. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, that is something that, I mean, Star Stable is probably thinking of the, or hoping. Maybe yeah. they are just Googling and watching pictures. <laughs> I don't know how maybe they, they do. maybe they are looking at uh, the Swedish uh, horse horse breeds association. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that depends on what they are going after. But I can imagine yeah, the Swedes exactly. are going with mm -hmm. British. But then that would be still be mm -hmm. weird with the chestnut we have any... yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Something tells me they are just googling pictures and yeah. go from that. <laughs> yeah. So the Shire chestnut for me, I just looked at it. Oh well, maybe. A crossbreed or something like that. Yeah. Well, it like has that little percentage of another horse breeding in it or something. Like, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, like you can mm -hmm. just role play it. Role play yeah. it as a crossbreed or something. Yeah, if um, you are not annoyed with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but also, if you have like a really realistic horse breed, then you should go buy it. Yeah. Um, but I also think that. It would be fun to play with the colors. Mm. Um, so, yeah, like for example, uh, a piebald Lusitano. Um, but yeah, maybe they should point out them that it's not like the breed standard. So yeah, they would like, like Lusitano sport horse or something like that. Yeah, that would be an option. Yeah, that would be interesting if they did. Yeah, I have to agree. What What did you think, Alex, when you asked this question? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I would like to see them play around with more colors just okay. because I think for example the Lifanzanas I would mm -hmm. love a pink Lifanzana because I think they're just super cute yeah. yeah and I would like that plus obviously if I could get more Shires I would love more Shires <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. but I don't know I think it would be interesting and like TC said if they did like the sports thing or they said it was like a something of it I think that would be cool yeah. because I think it's not like you said if you wanted a paint just go buy a paint Hanoverian or whatever yeah but sometimes you you really feel attached to breed a model. Yeah. yeah and it, yeah it doesn't it's not like I really really like shy so I'd like any colors mm. but for someone who maybe grew up around Lusitanos they mm. may not want like a Lusitano that's exactly like their horse but they mm. might want one that's a little bit more like I don't know let's for example say Lusitanos don't come in white and they were like it'd be really cool if they added on white just yeah. because it's something that we don't normally see so yeah. I don't know it's just very like like maybe always add that one one horse all when they release a breed of, of yeah. usually six six color that, that one yeah. six color is in a color that is typically not a breed standard that would be fun like yeah. then you had yeah. no idea what would happen yeah. <laughs> surprise. Maybe, surprise. That's, maybe that's what surprise. they could do with the app so, you know, the yeah. app horses, oh, yeah. maybe they can change that. So if people don't want it in the game and they don't want to see it, they don't have to. Yeah. If you do, mm. you raise it in the app. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Cool idea. This turned into a horse episode. It usually does. Obviously. Uh, but it still had some realism in it. So we, we are still in touch with the topic. Uh, yeah. But yeah, any more follow-up question to everyone? Mm. I think so. Oh. Um, well, maybe like uh, on the topic and theme of crossbreeds. Mm -hmm. uh, because crossbreeds are kind of popular. Um, mm -hmm. Would that be like a, a cool theme to explore? Um, because personally, I would love to see a Fjord Arabian. <laughs> Is that because, even a thing? Yes. I have to Google actually, this. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's actually a really popular and cool crossbreed. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, and they're gorgeous. They're super cute because 
then then you can have like huh uh, a horse with the beautiful shape of an Arabian yeah but in the fjord horse color and yet it's still a little 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 more chunkier than Arabian yeah and they, they're really cute so and I, I have a person the very first horse I uh, rode on my very first riding lesson was mm. a fjord Arabian cross oh, okay and she was gorgeous mm. and uh, she is really yeah just oh, she was the best yeah <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it would be really cool to see Cross. Yeah, be really fun, and I think um, it would be a fun project for uh, Lisa and uh, Evelina. Evelina, yeah, yeah. It's a really cool project and challenge for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, definitely. Maybe, maybe they can do it to a community contest or something like. What crossbreed would you most like to see? And yeah, then could, as a community vote up for it. Yeah. Really cool thing. Like for a Star Stable Live thing. <laughs> yes. That would be cool. Yeah, but we're probably not getting one this year. But I don't yeah. know. I haven't heard anything anyway. Mm -hmm. oh, oh well. Um but yeah, that I think um mm -hmm. I think it would be fun to yeah. uh, go through that. At least for uh, I mean um, to go all nuts on just mixing whatever yeah it could work but yeah. i think it would be more fun than that if they visited like typical crossing uh, yeah like uh, i always forget <laughs> <laughs> when i'm sitting here i'm like oh i was thinking of something and then it's gone <laughs> there are typical breeds that are normally typically bred or crossed with yeah. <laughs> and yeah. usually it's the arabian that is often crossed yeah. with i think i've seen well, actually, there has been. I've been riding a cross that was a cross between Lipisen and Arabian. Wow. And he was gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. Wow. That's cool. And he was an old, cranky man. Um... <laughs> 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 but he was cute. Um, but yeah, I would like to see that sometime in the future mm -hmm. i'm still sort of more into the thing that they i want them used to update what we already have in the game yeah yeah focus yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh what do you others think about having sort of like a crossbred yeah contest or do you mean actually mm -hmm. just crossbreds in game yes mm -hmm. crossbreds in games i have no problem with that because i consider the sport frisians that are all really obscure colors to be that in yeah. the game in the minute, so I don't really have a problem with it. And for me, it would open mm -hmm. up a lot of co other colors mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you wouldn't typically get. Um, yeah. For me, I'd love that, so mm -hmm. I'd be all for it. Hmm. And Alex? Yeah, definitely. I want yeah. more horse colors. <laughs> <laughs> we just want more like horse you. colors. We want Lisa and Evelina to go nuts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Should we move on to the two questions that are just for Alex? Wait, I have one more question. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> just, just last one. Okay. Okay. Sticking with the man. Uh, I was going to say fantasy and magic mixed together. <laughs> fantasy and realistic. Uh, about pets. Would you want more fantasy-based pets or more realistic pets? Oof. Oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's both. It's both. I want I... an owl. <laughs> oh, but the, isn't that realistic though? I mean, an owl is an owl. No, but I mean, like, for example, the, like, flying manta rays in Pandoria. Yeah. Ooh. Would you want one as a pet? I've seen a lot of people say that they really want, like, dragons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. things like that. Would you would you like it lean to more more towards one or the other? Or do you think, like... I mean, like, because I'm pretty sure Alberta is some type of magic spider because yeah. spiders aren't normally oh. that big. And they aren't, in, <laughs> and they aren't pink or purple. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I wish they were though. <laughs> yeah, I think I will lean. I am leaning more toward realism, but that is because I just want dog breeds in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although we don't really have a dog breed in the game either. Mm -hmm. We only have a terrier. Yeah, yeah. but it's really a breed. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, just something more like that. Because I do know a lot of people would like like a golden or corgi. Mm -hmm. A corgi, please. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Or Shiba, Shiba. The dog. <laughs> yeah, the dog. <laughs> you want a dog? Yeah. Uh, and I, but I would also like an owl and a parrot. 
Mm. I want a parrot. <laughs> yeah. I, I want cats. Oh yeah, cats. I want a cat. So so okay. So realism here, because I I see them as realistic. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't mind a manta ray or a panda yeah. ray. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I'm maybe not that creative. That that's why <laughs> it might be the case that I just can't see other dragons. Eh. I was thinking magic Yorvik puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Are, aren't the terriers one? <laughs> no, I mean like bright blue ones, green ones, purple no, ones. No, no, there. That's my limit. No, nope. I'm still waiting on those Pandorgmas foxes. <gasps> Ooh. What? The Pandor. I'm still waiting on Pandorgmas foxes. All colors of the rainbow. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but in general, I just want more pets right now in the game. I'm kind of yeah. bored with everyone running around with uh, a fox, now a spider, mm -hmm. and a dog. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very few occasions I see a seagull. Mm. <laughs> I took my seagull on the Saving Anne quest. Yeah. And Aww. that really emotional bit after everything happens and you're just in the <laughs> darkness, just every few seconds you just hear, Go! I was like, I was like in tears, and it was just, it was just like ah. silence. Like I'm choking up on my words, and it's just. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mood killer. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, has everyone answered that question? Uh, TC, what would you think? Um, I would like more realistic pets, but yeah. I wouldn't be against, um, as I said, a couple of really obscure mm. ones. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because. Like for me, my current like my current favorite pet is Gizmo, and yeah. he mm -hmm. is a squirrel, but he doesn't look anything like a squirrel. So no. every time I've heard him, he's been called, he's referred to as a rat on a couple of occasions. <laughs> I'm like, he's not a rat, he's a gremlin. Yeah, <laughs> oh, even worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for me, I would be fine with a couple of unrealistic mm -hmm. ones, but I'd love a wolf. I would um. love to have a wolf. Mm -hmm. Like to actually have it a proper size, like the ones in the yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I don't care if a cat fit in my saddlebag. I want yeah. them all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they have to fix that. That they don't have to have them always in the saddlebag. That, that, that would be, be cool. A bigger thing. Yeah. 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 For me though, I sometimes want a mute button. That's that's a big one. To the animals. <laughs> <laughs> like shush. <Yeah. laughs> I have to agree. Because that seagull. No. <laughs> yeah. That was on me for a day, and then I went yeah. back in my wardrobe. <laughs> They're like we already have them here in. In Sweden, and they're so annoying. I don't need them in the game. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I have to agree. My dog does sound, does bark a lot. Like he mm -hmm. wants attention all the time. Yeah. yeah. He needs a mute button, or at least turn it down a bit. It's more cuter yeah. if it is less and not all the time. Yeah. yeah. Although the, I haven't the spider. I haven't gathered mm -hmm. enough so I can get uh, that little pink spider. Yes, but does it mm -hmm. make that sound? It makes a meow and then sometimes a click and a hiss noise. Oh my god, it breaks oh, oh. my heart. Oh. <laughs> Every time I hear the spider babies, I go like, Baby, where are you, baby? <laughs> um, um, I actually kind of don't mind its noise. I it's love one of the, the few noise. pets. It's one of the few pets that I actually haven't been like, Oh my god, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> After I've... five minutes, because I've had my spider pet on me since now, since the Wednesday update. Yeah. Um, except whenever I did the story quest so on Wednesday, I did. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Switch over to Gizmo for that. Yeah. But other than that, I've had the spider pet on pretty much yeah. solidly. Had it in my saddlebag a lot, and I haven't mm. actually been yelling at it to be quiet. So, mm. oh, it's um, so cute <laughs> when it makes it. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Are we done? Are we moving on with the questions to Alex? Yes. Yes. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to be questioned? <laughs> yes. Maybe. Yes. Um, what did you first think of Star Stable when you started to play? Did you think of it as a magical place in the beginning or not? No, I didn't. Well, you didn't. I think I touched on this like at the yeah. beginning, but when I I made a, an account, played like ten minutes, and was like, I hate this game. No, so <laughs> never went back. And then a couple of my friends were like, Oh no, you'll really like it. Like I'm 100 percent sure you will. And I was like, Okay. And I think I saw the other wild. Yeah. And I saw the Shires and was like, that's it, I'm playing the game. Like, the first time you went to Fort Pinter and you walked straight into the gate and you see that Shire, I was like, oh, it's mine. <laughs> and then when you go to Paddock Island or Shire Island, yeah. as I call it, I freaked out. That's when I knew that I had to stay in the game and I had to work on it. 
<laughs> I got to level nine so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 don't you like the Clyde stains? I do. Yeah. But I think because. I just like the tires. They're just they're just perfect horses to me. I just love their personality and everything. Okay. So. Is it like a realistic thing or would you be really annoyed if they updated the tire at once? A lot of people do say that they should update it. Um I say it. <laughs> but I think that's what's nice about them is they they're a li yeah, they're not perfect, but mm. like nothing's perfect and that's what I like about them. <laughs> and I really like the sassy hair flip and oh, I you love know, that. eye roll and for me that's the only horse that I really really connected with Aww. that had just a personality oh. and I mean that's like me and Frost Hunter who's my gosh we'll probably see on that little video and yeah. um, my white shire I connected yeah. with him instantly he was the first horse I trained he basically went with me to every adventure that I could Mm. And I kept him with me, and I just really, really like that bond. And I think mm. that's why I fell for the Shires. Obviously, I have like a story of why I like Shires anyway. <laughs> but Aww. it was just they had so much personality compared to some of the other horses. Mm. And I think this was obviously when I first started. I think the newest breed was the Hanoverians. Yeah. And I really liked their ear movements. And I think it's like TC said, I like the small personality, like quirks mm -hmm. to them. Mm. And that's what I fell for was their uniqueness i think yeah so yeah i wouldn't want them they don't that people doesn't need to touch them and if they do um <laughs> they're, they're, they're gonna have to <laughs> yeah we're gonna have the words <laughs> but but they usually leave the old ones for you to still have so that's yeah. good uh, yeah. so that we others can enjoy the new ones <laughs> yeah 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 okay um where was i um so you didn't think it was magical. When was the point when you realized... Oh, so it was when you found the Yuri Wild was when they were magical. Okay, mm -hmm. never mind. Uh, <laughs> second question. Is there a moment in the game where it is a lot of magic or a lot of realism that you would like more of? Now, we sort of have answered it, but you can get more specific. Mm -hmm. I don't really... I don't know, like, there's just, when I first explored Pandoria, when you're walking through, like, the, the what's it called, the chaos thing? Chaos bridge, maybe? Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> when you're going through that, it's just, it just, it left me speechless, because I was just so fascinated by it. And then when you first get into Pandoria, and you're running around, and you're seeing all the plants, and the manta rays that fly around, and yeah. you have all these weird floating islands, my... <laughs> scientific brain was like how does this work how does gravity work how do these plants live here why is there no sun like all of these questions and i think i just yeah. got really really curious hmm. and something i would really really like is if you could uh get an encyclopedia yeah and basically go and like collect things and write like research notes about them Ooh. So that's just something i really like and maybe they have like a small thing like this flower smells really strange you probably shouldn't sniff it like small things like that <laughs> yeah you don't really know and I think that's just like, yeah, just because I'm curious about the natural world. And that's one thing I like to do in games is I like mm. to explore it like it is another world. And mm -hmm. I also think it's fascinating because you're getting inside someone's head. Yeah. And, you know, like the creators and what they thought. And ah, it's that's true. there's like unlimited worlds out there. And I just want to explore them all because I find them so fascinating. <laughs> um, but more realism. No, I think they balanced it pretty mm. well. And I think that's what's nice about it. Maybe mm. to flesh out a bit more of the breed thing, like we said about the Lusitano, mm. I would like to know more about breeds mm. and have them featured in a quest. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of only thing that I would like to see more realism because that was very realistic. Mm. Yeah. And it was educational as well, so mm. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, when you say about this Pandoria where you want to explore and everything, but something that is bothering me when when it comes to Pandoria, when they released that you could go to Pandoria whatever you wanted, it's like, but you just said in the quest that you can't be there too long yeah. or you can get sick. So it's like yeah. they're they're saying they're talking against themselves. So yeah. what do you think about that when they have said that, but you can go around all you want? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually, the story doesn't yeah. connect. 
Yeah, no. I would. I would be fine going in if I ended up looking like Evergrey. <laughs> oh yeah, well that's true. <laughs> Evergrey is my favorite character. <laughs> he oh. is quite cool. <laughs> he is funny. So, and now, I'm, and, I'm and cool yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we feeling done with this topic? I think so. I think we've pr yeah. pretty much covered a lot. Yeah. 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 I just. Well, I think yeah. the last thing is probably it honestly depends how you play and there's no yeah. right or wrong answer. Mm -hmm. Like Rose said, you like more like the realistic side of things, where I'm much more fantasy. Yeah. I don't think us people should lean more towards one way, mm, and I yeah. think it should just be if you enjoy playing the way you do, because yeah. there's no yeah, right exactly. or wrong answer with this. Mm -hmm. That's true. But no, I think that's, that's it. <laughs> that is a good ending to this topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're moving on to the last two segments before we end this episode and we're moving on to our favorite and least favorite update for February whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, it has been an epic month I have to say like there were twice we got door request so something tells me I already know what you're all gonna say <laughs> <laughs> but let's gar start with TC what was your least favorite update of February um, it's kind of I think I maybe said this in January was I wasn't keen mm. on the Farah outfits that we got for the Druid outfits this oh. time around. I wasn't keen on the colours. So mm. it's kind of that again. It's oh. we got horse tack from Farah then this month. Um and I just don't like the colour scheme. That's yeah, really okay. the only reason. It's just I'm not really into the mustardy yellow mm. yeah, that was going on for me. It's mm. not really for me. That's okay. what my least favourite was. Okay. So your favorite is the Drum story quests. Yay! <laughs> um, obviously, I'm not going to spoil anything of the actual story. Yeah. No. But in terms of music, um, the animations, and the dialogue, mm. I thought it was really, really good. And I don't think anything's moved me as much as it did in quite no. some time. So yeah, I, th I thought it was very, very well put together, and the team did a really good job on that. Um, because there's there's been quests where I've like. You know, but like quite invested in, but that mm. really was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> oh boy, 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 yeah. You know, a lot of emotions. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so yeah, and I, I did actually enjoy the spider hunting. Yeah. Actually, even as somebody who did not like spiders, I feel like I've actually got over my fear because I went into the bathroom the other day and there was a spider and I didn't even care. <laughs> you were like, you're so cute. <laughs> Hi, Alberta. <laughs> yeah, Aww. Alberta's here. But we're one of our friends. <laughs> so, yeah. so I thought I would just say that I actually did enjoy that. I enjoyed the, the process of hunting them. Mm. And, yeah. uh, then the rewards, actually the tax that had stats, so plus plus. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Um... Alex, what was your least favorite update? The Valentine's Day race. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I like the race, mm -hmm. but one thing that I really dislike is when Star people release a really nice outfit and it doesn't have stats. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Um, yeah. That's true. I, okay. I really wish that, that... I wish we could have like an enchanting thing so you could add mm -hmm. stats to yeah, it. That would yeah. be nice. But it's worse when you actually like an outfit and it doesn't have stats and you're like, oh. <laughs> I actually have a slight bone pick to pick with that outfit because I was like, oh, Valentine's Druid outfit. Oh, this might be purple or like really deep red or really dark pink. No. And it was... Oh, beige. Beige. Yeah. Whatever you want to call that wash tie color. And I was like, <laughs> no. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my, my club screamed when they saw me and they were like, get out of that now. And I was like, fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that is actually uh, what you mentioned now, Alex, is actually one aspect where we could add magic to the game. Mm. Yeah. Add so we can like upgrade loads or attack to better Ooh. stats. Well, yeah. my thing before was that Elizabeth would teach you, she would go tell you to go get herbs yeah. and a bunch of different things and she yeah. would make a potion which would enchant it. Yeah. Well, what's going to happen now? What? Um, uh, what nice. the Avalon? Avalon? <laughs> oh! But, My goodness. Where the worst. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, what was your favorite... Sorry, the story question. What was your favorite <laughs> update has, of this month? It has to be the saving end. The I saving end. Well. Mm -hmm. Just because that really hit my heartstrings. And uh -huh. I cried like three times, and then I had to edit it, and I cried again. It was just no. it was an emotional Wednesday. <laughs> I have yeah. to actually watch your video. That was. 
<laughs> um, and I think just, yeah, everything was done really, really well. Yeah. And Very that's good. something you can tell they put a lot of time and effort into it. Mm -hmm. And it really shows. And that I can really appreciate. And mm, I'm yeah. not a crier. I don't cry at a lot of things. <laughs> mm. So. <laughs> yeah. But I'm liking how they are turning the story quest. That they are now getting better at making it unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did not expect anything that happened in that. <laughs> nope, <laughs> nope, and that's where we stop talking about story quest. <laughs> yeah. uh, Cece, what was your least favorite update? Um, well, my least favorite is... Uh, it's actually the Valentines. Oh? Um, because... You know, Starship has really spoiled us with updating the holidays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so I was hope for something, you know, new. something new. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when it didn't, it, it wasn't, you nah. know. Completely. There wasn't really any significant change, because yeah, yeah. I know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, like, there was so a couple I, of yeah. new ladders, but that was it. Yeah, yeah, so I was slightly disappointed. Yeah. So, because, you know, we've been spoiled so much so the bar they really set the bar really high yeah they did, <laughs> they did the holidays. amazing so i do understand why because you know the story quest they've been really working hard on it so i understand why valentine's maybe was like ah, okay we use open him um so yeah yeah okay and, and then that. yeah your favorite um well I actually haven't played <gasps> yeah, no. with with the spiders oh. or the story quest. Have you played at all? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's like events, but uh, but uh, with this uh, with newer story quest, I used um, with the latest updates. It has been lagging like yeah. so much, and I'm so afraid to start the story quest. And yeah. then it will be ruined by the bugs and the lag. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Because I know it's perfect. Well, I want it to be perfect. <laughs> so yeah. I'm saving it just for a couple of days. It's agonizing. I just I can't be on oh. any social media or talk to anyone. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> wow. yeah, well, now you know where CC is <laughs> in the <laughs> corner and uh, under a black. <laughs> so. Uh, okay. So, yeah. So I picked for my favorite updates, but I haven't played the, the story quest for the, the, the spiders. Mm -hmm. I picked the, the European war bloods. Oh, yes. yeah! I mean, they are gorgeous. Yes. All of them. The mm. codes, oh, they're so cute. It's been really hard. I've only picked one. Mm. Um, uh, the chestnut. Yeah, oh, that live, the live chestnut, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's so good. Yeah. Um, and it's been so hard to not buy all the <laughs> so Well, I bought two. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I should have started. Okay, mm, yeah, but it's good that they are mentioned at least, because they are worth yeah. mentioning. They're yeah. worth being out there, being favorite. Yes. They did cause quite the, the debate over the... <laughs> The symmetrical thing, but then it was oh, like, yeah. well, the faces were different, and all yeah, of the actual yeah. starters were have always been that way. Yeah. So, but on the on the pattern coats, it was just, mm. I didn't notice it, because when I did my video, I went on, yeah. did the video, and I was like, I had already decided before I even went, Yeah. whenever we got the teasers, I was like, I'm not going to buy one, because Danger Kick is Danger Kick. Uh, okay. I do not want to, you know, ever in any way upset him. <laughs> oh. So, I was like, I won't be buying one. I knew that already. And okay. then when I saw them, I was like, I logged on and then I kept seeing people on them and I was like, oh my god, they're so cute. And I was like, no, no, you're not, you're not buying one. Just, no, no, no. just don't even go there. Danger so when I was, will hate you. I know. Cool. So I was like looking at them and I was like, that's cute, and that's cute, and that's cute, and that's cute. And then I was like, so I didn't really pay really close attention. So it was only after I did my video and uploaded it. And then I went on Instagram and I was like, oh, the coats are the same. Like, but it was yeah. really obvious in the pattern ones. Yeah. Mm. But then, of course, it's like that on all the starters, and it's just the faces that are different. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, now I've noticed it. Mm -hmm. It's all I notice. Yeah. On the two patterned ones. 
Mm. Um, I don't think it's really. It's not so obvious on the ones that are like the some more solid ones because like mm. I don't even notice it on Danger Kick, so I don't yeah. even notice it on those. Mm. Um, mm. So for me, it didn't really bother me because I wasn't going to buy them. But I guess for people who bought them, and then realize they're probably like a, it's probably one of those really things that's really noticeable. Mm. Um, <laughs> well, I guess it depends. It is noticeable, but I just don't care. Mm. Yeah, well, I suppose it depends. Some people do care, some people don't. Yeah, there are, me, know, there are other things to be bothered about in this world. Yeah. <laughs> the symmetric coats. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just me, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, my least favorite. It is a tough one because this February has been quite good. I mean, there wasn't yeah. really someone that was just, oh, this is bad. Mm -hmm. uh, but I have to choose that it was Gary Goldtooth returning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with Because I want when I want him to return, I want him to at least have new work. Mm -hmm. oh. And he returned with old ones. So that is why he's not mm -hmm. my favorite man. Yeah. Oh, I can 100% agree with that. I need more New York ones. <laughs> 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 yeah. Alex agrees with me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just I was just like slightly relieved. I was like, okay, my Star Queens are sweating for another day. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Uh but yeah, favorite I mean of course the story quest, but I was feeling like that is so obvious. Uh, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna say the spider babies are so adorable. <laughs> I want them all. Can I have one in my stable? <laughs> like can I just have one running around in my stable? I don't want it in my saddlebag. I just want one in the stable. Like a little mm. stable spider. But it's always there. It'd be good and... for eating the horse flies. Yeah, exactly. You can catch my, catch all the flies and be mm -hmm. cute and be everywhere and all. Yeah. Can we have a spider? That's a baby <laughs> spider. Aww. Oh, I love them. I haven't catched them all yet. I mean, mm -hmm. I I only I did my stream, mm -hmm. and then off that I only picked up two that I managed to ride past, and I was mm -hmm. like, I shouldn't pick them up because I want to do it in a stream, and I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. Now I'm gonna pick them up because <laughs> there's so many anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, has everyone answered now? Mostly of our favorite mm -hmm. updates. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, actually, it took me this far to stop keeping track now. <laughs> <laughs> and it is our last segment, which is our monthly wish, mm -hmm. preferably something involving this update or mm -hmm. this topic. Not update. Blah. Um, and as usual, me, TC, and CC only have one wish, <laughs> and but Alex, who is our guest, can have two. Yeah. Yay! I'm generous <laughs> like that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, there is a slight problem. I don't have a wish. Oh. <gasps> <I had> to... <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I guess I can just say one that I already have told. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's still not in the game and I really, mm -hmm. really, 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 really want it. Mm -hmm. Letters in the paddock. Champions oh, have yeah. letters in the paddock. How hard can it be? Yeah. Please. Well, that would be that would be more realistic. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's my realistic part of me. Yeah. Letters in the paddock. Uh, <laughs> so that's me done. Um, Alex, what are your two wishes? Oh, um, <laughs> I guess to have the ability to turn on and off your wild colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And have the same option for other people. So, for example, <laughs> if turn me and PC are together. <laughs> Yeah, turn off people, just turn off everyone. Um, <laughs> if me and TT were both on Yorvik Wild and I didn't want her horse to go into its magic form, I could turn mm. it off. Mm. Or if I wanted to show my horse and TC's horse in their magic, mm. and I think that would help balance the magic and realistic. Yeah. For example, if you didn't want to see you know, a bright pink horse running past you, you could yeah. say no. Um, that's something. And, oh, I don't know. Um, um, um. No probably, pressure. Probably like a little, a little <laughs> pen in my stable for where I could put my pets, so they're uh, not yeah. stuffed in my wardrobe. <laughs> yes, yes, please. Yeah. Kind I have of to... like in the, oh, the pet really? shop where they're all in like little different pens. Yeah, yeah, you can like swap and change it, and you can just be running around. Oh, yes. That'd be so cute. <laughs> yeah. You can like have it in that little room that is right beside your door. You can have that in mm -hmm. there. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Good wishes, very good wishes. Uh, CC. Oh, wow, how am I gonna top that? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I just wondered the well. same thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, hmm. Yeah, it is kind of hard topic. Um, yeah. Hmm. 
Kucha. Oh, don't get close. <laughs> you can just yeah. take mine. The more that is wishing for my wish is gonna happen today. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe I'm gonna stick with uh, I want more uh, realistic pack. So oh, you don't want that purple fjord? Yes, I always <laughs> want that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that one. Uh, but also more like more realistic packs, so you can, uh, you know, you have more different styles. Mm. Because having like two or three styles, I, yeah, I, I would kind of have one time more. Yeah. Okay. That mm. Add a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And lastly, TC. Um, uh, this is really difficult to be honest, but mm. Mm. it's gonna be really basic actually in a way. I wanna be able to have our character actually jump in yeah. game. Oh, yes. yes. Because I don't know why there like whenever we were doing like hide and seek, this is why I kinda was talking about earlier having more realistic elements and being able yeah. to tag people because we were doing an like an event and mm. there was just a time where it would have been really helpful if I actually have been able to jump with my character, not the horse, but just my character. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think I'd like that. Yeah, that would. Oh. Good wish. Good, good, good wish. Yeah. Um, I guess we're done. Do we have any questions from last episode? No, we didn't have any questions. No questions. Mm-hmm. Want to remind you all that's listening. If you have any questions to us, it doesn't have to be anything about the topic or anything. It just can be like, if you have a question just for TC or for me or us as a mm-hmm. podcast or anything, just leave it in the comments down below and TC will pick it up. Um, so yeah, then we're done with this month's episode. Yeah. It was quite fun. It was really interesting discussion we got yeah. to do. Really. And okay. thank you so much, Alex, for bringing this uh, as an idea and to join us as our guest. It's okay. Thank you so much for having me. It was so much fun. Yeah, <laughs> we will probably have you on more times in the future if you want. Yes, definitely. Yay. Um. <laughs> And your other two are happy with this today. Yeah, yeah this has been really fun. Yeah. I feel like I rambled a bit though. Yeah, well, we <laughs> yeah. all rambled today. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, it's February when we all ramble, it's just a month. <laughs> yeah. People yeah. will now know I do not like February. <laughs> <laughs> it's good yeah. that it's a short month, I have to say. Yeah. Uh, but yes, I guess we're done then today. Uh, just want to remember. Just want to tell you all to remember that you're awesome as always and that we will see you again in March with a very, very special guest and a very fun topic as usual. Mm-hmm. And until day, then, until then, stay awesome as always <laughs> and we will see you next time. Bye! 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 Bye. Bye.